Hello, I'm Tyler Britt, reporting for the Newsfeed. This is your feed update for Wednesday, April 5th. Police say an Ohio woman is charged with the attempted murder of her two children after she cut their necks, cut her own wrists, and called 911 to report the injuries. Police say the 7 and 10 year old girls were taken to a hospital Tuesday night from a home in Canton, 50 miles south of Cleveland. Canton police say the children's injuries weren't considered life-threatening. They had no update on their condition as of Wednesday morning. Police say their mother, 31-year-old Nicole Alman, was treated at a hospital and then taken to a jail where she remains pending a court hearing. Germany's cabinet has approved a new bill on curbing hate comments and fake sites on social media. Chancellor Angela Merkel's cabinet agreed on rules that will impose fines of up to 50 million euros or 53.4 million dollars on social networking. Sites that fail to swiftly remove illegal content such as hate speech or defamatory bias sites. German Justice Minister Hiko Maas said that companies offering such online platforms are responsible for removing hateful content. Maas said, just like on the streets, there is also no room for criminal incitement on social networks. The bill has yet to be approved. The NCAA Men's Basketball Championship was late Monday night, but the majority of the game was whistles and moans. The constant stop and go action helped lead North Carolina to its sixth national title and their 71-65 win. Each team had 22 fouls, many of them coming in the first part of the second half. The whistle was blown on an average of every 24 seconds. Kennedy Meeks had a call go his way despite multiple reports of being out of bounds. Leading the Tar Heels to their victory, Connecticut's 53-41 win over Butler in 2011 has been called the ugliest championship game. Six years later, North Carolina and Gonzaga have given the game competition that will, always, that will have fans on both sides debating for years to come. And that is your feed update for this Wednesday, April 5th. As always, stay connected with us on Twitter and Facebook. For more news and information, I'm Tyler Brooks.